Hi everyone, my name is Laura and today I'll be sharing with you guys a chatty get ready with me video. This is the final look that I come up with. It's kind of like a very simple staple look of mine. Very flawless, glowy skin, very simple eyes, big lashes, nude lips. It's kind of a thing that I do all the time. But I thought that I'd take this time to try out some new products for you guys that have accumulated over the last few months that I haven't tried before. Update you guys on what I think of some new products that I've been trying out. And just sharing with you a few products that I love as well. So yeah, if you guys would like to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm gonna start off with primer. I'm gonna be using the Clarins Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Base in the shade Golden Bronze. I haven't used this before, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, it's like a skin color, but like a, like it's not luminous, like how the tube thinks it's like super metallic-y. That's really weird. That's what it looks like on my hand. It kind of looks like foundation. So I'm just going to apply this to my face. Oh my goodness, this isn't what I was expecting. This literally wasn't what I was expecting from this product. But I guess as long as it primes the skin and doesn't change my foundation. If I had this skin tone, I'd probably just use this product how it is. Because it actually looks really, really nice on the skin. I think it's just because the colour of it's really, really wrong for me. At least my face kind of matches my body now, which is good. So for foundation today, I'm going to be trying a new one. This one is from Smashbox and it is their Studio Skin Foundation. I've seen a lot of people talk about it, so I thought I'd give it a go as well. Yeah, I'm so glad I put on that priming base. Like even though it was darker, I think it works because this foundation was a little bit light. I wouldn't say that this is full coverage because I'm not using like the best brush to get a full coverage effect on the skin. But I do say it's like a very, very nice, similar to skin consistency on the skin look. And so sorry, I don't know if I told you the shade that I'm in in that foundation, but I use the shade 2.1. I'm going to use a, one more pump. So this is a total of three pumps on my face. That's how big one pump looks. And I'm just going to target this on certain areas of my skin. I haven't filmed a video in so long. I just really haven't been feeling it. Like the beauty community just isn't how it used to be when I first started filming makeup videos. Like I get things change and like stuff like that. And I'm all about adapting to change. Like... For me, YouTube, like the beauty community, was a community. Like it actually genuinely was a community where like people would like message each other and like comment on each other's things and stuff like that. And now I feel like it's all about the views. It's all about, oh, who can I hang out with to get like to feature them in my vlog to like get more views and stuff like that. And I'm just not about that. Like just let's talk about the makeup man and like good makeup, not sponsored makeup, like seriously. But yeah, like the beauty community is nothing like how it was when I first started. Let me zoom you guys in a bit. Does that help you at all? And I'm also just gonna use this fluffy brush to blend it down my neck a bit. That's a big reason why I like using these brushes is because you can easily blend it down your neck and not have a lot of product there. This is an old product that I'm trying to use up, but this is Benefit Erase Paste in like the pink pot. So I'm going to try and use this up. It's just basically like a salmon toned corrector, essentially. I'm just going to place this underneath my eyes as a corrector, just to cancel out any of the darkness underneath my eyes. I'm going to use this Makeup Atelier Concealer. This one is in the shade Yellow Medium. I might put a little bit here. But I'm going to put another concealer underneath my eyes. I'm going to be using trusty Tarte Shape Tape. I'm using the shade Light Neutral. I have a few shades of this. The only downside with this concealer is that I feel like finding the right shade is really, really hard for me. I really like that Makeup Atelier Concealer, and I don't think it's super expensive off Beauty Bay. I think it's like 18 US dollars, which to be honest, like in comparison, like even with conversion, it's maybe like a dollar more than like L'Oreal full price, like Australian prices that is. Like it's not the most full coverage thing in the world, but if you want it to like brighten up elements on your face, then I think it is a nice one. I just personally don't think it has enough coverage for like super dark under eye circles. But if you like something like YSL, like Touche de Clare or the Maybelline Dream Touch, then I think you would like this product, but it's not in like a click pen form. I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 30 Cafe. I'm not going to use a lot of it. Just a little bit, like a few little dots, because you don't want to apply too much cream contour. And I'm applying it above where I want my contour to be. I don't want to apply it where it, used, where it is, I guess, because my contour is really here, but I blend it down, so I don't know. I'm just going to put a few more dots around my hairline and a few dots along my jawline. 
Now I'm going to take this fake Real Techniques brush that I got off eBay and I'm just going to start doing my cream contour. I really enjoy this brush purely because it is a synthetic fiber brush. So it really does like a good job in terms of blending in without absorbing much product. See, I love that so much. I'm just going to go over my face with the brush that I use with my foundation. I'm just going to go over all the edges just so it looks like really, really seamless and stuff like that. Be careful with your contour. You don't want to blend it down. Okay, now that all my foundation and my cream contour is done, I'm going to set my face. I'm going to be using my Maybelline Matte Maker. This also isn't new, but it is a oldie and a goodie. I'm going to put that on a dry micro blender. And I'm just going to pat this underneath my eyes. I love this powder so much. It's honestly such a good powder. I love it, especially for baking. But yeah, like the beauty community, like at least as what I've experienced, it's just so many people are just like hanging out with people for like free publicity, if you will. And I'm not about that. And I just, I didn't really want to be involved. I don't want to be involved. I'm just here to like share my experiences with makeup, how it used to be, and hope that people even still find that interesting. I'd rather save my money, buy the product, and then share it with you guys. I don't care if it's not new anymore. If somebody's looking into it, then they'll find it. I'm going to be using Max Studio Fix Press Powder in the shade NC35. I kind of like this tone a bit better than NC40. So I'm just going to do that on the rest of my face. Right now, I'm going to spray my face. I'm going to be using the... Maybelline Master Fix. We see a lot of Maybelline today, my goodness. One thing that I'm not the biggest fan about this product is the pump. I feel like it's a fine mist and stuff, but it's like a circle. It's not like a mist. It's like a, it's like a mist circle, but then there's a lot of stuff missing in the middle. So I feel like I've got to do like heaps of sprays to actually cover my whole face. I'm so excited to go out today, explore Sydney. We went to a cool place last weekend. We went to this like bomb lighthouse like it's 200 years old this year like in 2018 i think november 30th i think it was um it said on like a little plaque there and it was built in 1818 oh my god like it was honestly so so beautiful i had never heard about it before and we're actually on our way to another lighthouse in sydney i don't know what that one's called either and the parking was completely full so we didn't go there and then we're driving back and we saw this lighthouse the one that we went to and it was the first lighthouse in Australia. It's called the Macquarie Light Lighthouse. I'm just gonna put a little bit of brow gel in my eyebrows. But yeah, I don't know if you guys would be interested in like, if we go to somewhere cool, would you like me to bring you guys along just so you guys can have like a different perspective of Sydney? Because I feel like, oh my God, are you being serious? Do you guys see that? I full got brow gel like outside my brow, whatever. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Max Studio Fix powder and I'm just gonna try and patch it up there we go hi guys sorry about that my camera died so i decided to curl my hair i have it up in pin curls at the moment so i'll take it down in a moment so i don't know how much of it cut out but basically i use this shade in the corner down here on this sigma e40 brush it's a super fluffy brush and what i did i just got a little bit of product and i basically worked it through my crease I'm now going to take a little bit of this matte color here. I love building up the mattes first. So this is like a rich brown. It's gorgeous. I'm taking it on a more dense brush. This one is from Coastal Scents. It's a BRCN06. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. And I'm going to work that on the outer portion of my eye. And I'm going to start bringing it up and into the rest of the socket. What I really want to do is put like a champagne shade on the inside. I think this is going to be like a really, really like subtle date night look. I'm just going to take a little bit of this color up here on a Sigma E55. I love this for packing on color. It's really, really nice. This color is gorgeous. Do you see how beautifully that brush packed it on? So you can see literally just one swipe. You can see like how beautifully pigmented. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this color here on the same brush, same side. And I'm just going to take a little bit of it. It's really, really pigmented. And I'm just going to put that kind of over the top just to make it a little bit brighter. Just to kind of like add more definition to the eye. I'm now going to take my pencil brush. This one is from Zoeva. It's a luxe pencil brush in the number 230. 
I'm just going to take a little bit of this color down here, which is the first color that I put. And I'm going to put that kind of like around the middle of my eye on my lower lash line. Just to give a bit of depth because I don't want it to be too dark in there, but I still want definition. So I'm putting this down first and then working out with the dark colors. I'm now just going to take a little bit of this color here. I'm going to put that on the outer portion. I'm going to tap off the excess though because I don't want it to be too dark. Because I feel like with my eye shape, because I don't have the biggest eyes, it really does make them look small. And I'm going to put this, bring this down quite low so it kind of makes the illusion of bigger eyes. And I'll try not to put the shadow too close to my lash line. I'll try and like bring it down a little bit just so it makes my eyes look a bit bigger. I'm really loving this foundation, like how it looks. I feel like it looks so beautiful. I'm going to take a little bit of Benefit Roller Lash and I'm just going to apply this to my lashes. I'm using the Lash Extend now. This is a beautiful formula, especially if you love like tube formulas. Like, like even if I'm using like a normal mascara like the roller lash I'll always go over the top with this because it's got a tubular formula so that means that when you cry and stuff it won't leave like those black patches underneath your eyes it's kind of like the best of washable mascara and waterproof mascara in one like you won't get the smudging of like regular mascara and it's just so good like I know when I don't use this I always end up with black smudges like here while I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry, I'm going to be using a little bit of bronzer. I've chosen the NARS Laguna bronzer for today. As you can see, this is very well loved in my collection. I haven't used it on camera in a very long time. To be honest, I don't know if I've even ever used it on camera. And I'm going to use its NARS Bestie, the NARS Eater brush. I'm pretty sure that you can buy fake ones of these on eBay. I think I've done that in the past. Like I've bought, I think I've bought one of them. I actually should get another one because I really like it. It's like pretty much the same as this but it's like two dollars instead of like ninety dollars or like sixty dollars or whatever it is something ridiculous just gonna run whatever's left over on to my nose i don't normally do this but because i want to take photos today i'm just gonna do it if you guys would like a video on how i apply my fake lashes then let me know because i personally feel like i'm quite i don't want to say good but i feel like I'm good for being self-taught, like, lash done. Because, like, I've been wearing lashes for a very long time now. And, like, don't get me wrong, I can't put on mink lashes to save my life. But these clear banded ones, oh my god, they're literally my favourite. We're going to be using this beauty of a highlighter. My friend Yagma already told me that it's going to be amazing, so I'm very sure it will be. Hopefully it just matches my skin tone today. Now, this is my skin without any highlighter or anything. Like, the only things that I used are the products that I showed today. But I'm going to add highlighter on top because I want to be extra. I'm going to be using this Jessup brush. I don't know if anybody remembers, but Jessup used to be the biggest thing. And also, just look how beautiful this highlighter is. I just can't even deal. Let's do this. Let's just do one swipe. All right, that's not very promising. I'm going to just transmit that onto my cheek. Okay, that's not very intense. So I'm going to try and build it up. Normally with my highlighters, I literally do this a few times. So let's see how it goes. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, wow. So it's not like a one swipe amazingness. But it is like a few swipe amazingness. And for $10, like, are you kidding me? Obviously, if you don't like an intense highlighter, then this probably wouldn't be for you. But if you do like that beaming highlight, I really do think that this might be one for you to check out. Especially because, like, Maybelline always goes on sale. Like, always, always, always. Like, regardless of if that's at Woolworths or Coles or Chemist Warehouse or Priceline, it's always on sale. I'm going to take another Sigma brush. This is the Medium Sweeper E54. I'm just going to take a little bit of the product and I'm going to put this underneath my brow bone. I really, really like this highlight, especially if you have a tan. Okay, so I've decided with a nude, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Chi Lip Liner. I'm going to apply that to my lips. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of MAC Kinda Sexy, which is a bit more of a pinky nude. I already had lip balm on and I didn't take it off. I kind of just apply the products over it. So that's why it's still got a glossy finish. Kind of sexy on its own is a matte finish. But because I've got that lip balm on, 
it looks glossy. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I love how it turned out. I love the highlighter so ridiculously much. It's so beautiful. I'll definitely be using it more often and I can't believe I got it for $10. Oh my god. Even $20, I'll totally pay for it because it's cheaper than like Becca, MAC, all of those. Like, oh my god, this is so, so good. I hope they bring out more colors like a beautiful like champagne-y baby pink one. Oh, gorgeous. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.